If you like the new modelling tools inside of Blender, you might want to check out the Q Blocker add-on. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now this is a very quick add-on review. I actually covered this about maybe a year and a half ago, and it's pretty good. And it does kind of give you some of the basic functionality that Blender does, with just a few more tweaks. Now, it has been released for version 3.0, I'll leave the link in the description down below. It is available for free, and I'll just give you a quick tour to be honest. So let's quickly delete this object, and if I go up to add, you can see your cube blocker. And it does work very similar to the same way the parametric objects work inside of Blender. So let's grab a cube, let me just take off this work plane, and what we can do is we can do stuff like this. Nice and easy. Now you're probably saying to yourself, how is that any different from what Blender's done? And I think this kind of inspired it, to be honest. I think they seen it and thought, hmm, that's quite good. Now, if you're used to Lightwave or Model, you can kind of do this anyway. So it's nothing new, but there is a few things that we can actually do. You can see the helpers up here at the moment. So we can change things like the axis. We can quickly change the object. So we can change it from a plane to a box, stuff like this. We can change where the snapping points are happening. We can change the work plane. There is a little bit more freedom. That's the best way I can describe it. There's a little bit more freedom when you come. Now, you can hide the helper and stuff like this, but it's pretty easy to use, to be honest. If I drop this tool and hit Y, you can see here we have snapping points. So I can actually snap to the points, and it's pretty cool. So you can start to build out stuff very quickly, like so. And that really is the benefit to this add-on, to be honest. It just has a little bit more refinement. And again, you have additional objects. So let's drop this tool. You have other objects. You have like a torus, stuff like this. And let's use a sphere. I quite like using a sphere. And if you're on the fly, if you middle mouse, you can see here, I can scale the subdivision up and down nice and easily. And that really is the basics of cube blocker now. It's a little bit more refined than that, to be honest. There's a little bit more accurate and it does a lot more than I'm actually giving it justice and then if you check out the documents it actually kind of lays down everything for you it's well documented which is always nice when you get a free add-on now one of the new options is you can actually convert an object to a Q block I'm not entirely sure what that does turn mesh into a cylinder and there's a new thing called transform and I think that's obviously a working project and that's pretty much Q blocker it's nice and easy to use has a little bit more functionality than the basics of Blender. Anyway, you know what to do. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter. Take care.